Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're gonna go ahead and take our parts over to the powder coat shop, CFAB LLC. So let's go ahead and stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm gonna disclose what color I'm gonna go with, but we are changing the color up of the truck. Now what we have back here is the rear bumper, traction bars, and uh, yeah, that's it right now. My leaf springs are currently there right now, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those as well, show you guys what they look like, and they are beefy. A real quick shout out to all the support that you guys have been doing for me. It's been outstanding. We had a great month, and there's a train. We had a great month last month. Let's keep it going, let's get more subscribers. A big shout out to my wife for helping me load all these parts up, as it was not easy to get the bumper on there myself, so she helped me get the bumper on. She helped me prep all the parts for powder coat. So thank you so much to my beautiful wife. Let's go ahead and get to the powder coat shop. We're currently here at CFAB LLC, and these are our 7 in 1 leaf springs. I am upgrading from a 4 in 1 to a 7 in 1 leaf spring. I'm very excited to see the difference in ride quality, give you guys a good review when we do install these and we get the truck back on the road to see the actual difference between these. There is quite a difference in cost. It's about, I want to say a couple hundred dollars extra each side, so about 200 to 300 dollars extra for each leaf spring. Just a quick overview here of their shop. They have a pretty sweet setup here. I am going to do a, a interview on the owner and see how, you know, tape you guys step by step through their shop here. They have their little powder coating area. They have an oven here which is quite large that they just upgraded. I would say it's a medium sized oven. They do have a larger oven outside. They've got their sandblasting booth here that as well as can extend the sandblasting holes outside to do any large projects. They've got their air dryer and their compressor in the back. And then they also have a pretty sweet strip tank that I thought was pretty crazy. Just kind of melts the stuff off the parts that they want to get ready to powder coat. And then once they strip it, they'll put it in the sandblasting booth, etch it a little bit, and then get it ready for powdering. Now, like I said, I do plan to interview the owners of C CFAB LLC. It is a great story. They have great ambition, great worth ethic. It's a 22 year and a 21 year old they own their own powder coating business and also their own spray foam business they do outstanding for themselves they do great work it's amazing and i love their story i love their boost i love their setup for powder coating everything has been hard work hard labors themselves um just a quick insight on that medium size oven they built that themselves took them about 500 hours for two guys and i think they said 17 days so that is some serious work ethic that only one can obviously obviously respect as far as the leaf springs you guys i'm not going to go ahead and put these on the truck today we're going to actually get these painted so i'll have to get new paint i do not have enough paint anymore from the, the we're doing the rear axle and then we can go ahead and get the leaf springs put onto the truck once we get those painted and obviously once we get painted we're going to go ahead and throw it back on the truck the rear axle, we're gonna be doing new emergency brakes. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the lines put back in. We're gonna flush the fluids. We're gonna take the um, diff cover off, take a look at the inside of the diff cover, throw a new gasket on there. But again, when we get these installed, I'll go ahead and talk about these leaf springs exactly, you know, what gains we get from them. I think there's a little bit um, hauling gains for the truck bed. Um, and obviously ride quality gains from going from the four and one to the seven and one. And we should be looking at getting this truck, the rear end of this truck, put that back together in the next few videos. And I'm extremely excited about it. I'm excited to get it back on the road. And we're gonna go ahead and tackle those rockers. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all the future videos. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more, like the rockers and the cab corners that we're gonna be doing here real shortly in the future. Don't mind the mess for my daughter, but. Like I said, this is a very exciting process. I'm all doing it myself in my driveway. So if, if I can do it like this, you guys can most cer certainly do this. Man, that axle is looking outstanding though. So definitely stay tuned for future videos. This was kind of a little update video on the process and everything that we got going on. No, I'm not disclosing what powder coat color we are gonna go with. That's gonna be a surprise for you guys for the traction bars and the rest of this truck. I'm really excited about it. It's something different that I have never done before. I really even thought about doing. So stay tuned for all the videos that we got coming up here real shortly, you guys. I'm excited, it's a very exciting process. It's been a long process, and I know you guys know it's been a long process, but again, I'm a one-man show out here in my driveway taking care of this, so hard work definitely pays off, and we'll see you guys in the next video.